Hello YouTube, here we got some PCD cutting inserts that I ordered from China. Got myself a cheap cutter as well. So the plan is to turn the shank down a little bit, or at least give it a try. I don't even know if it's possible to turn, turn the shank down. I suspect it's kind of hard. And uh, then I will attempt to do some aluminium cutting on the router, if this will succeed. Here I made a model of how I want the, the shank to look like. So we got the meter here of 12.7, which is half an inch, and made a small curve here radius. Thought it might be helping the insert out. So first, this roughening path and after that level 2 the finishing tool path removing final stock not really necessary but always good to, to try to improve so to be honest I don't have a clue what feed rate or cutting speed I should use. So I will start off very slow with a surface speed of 65 meters a minute and a feed rate of 103 millimeters a minute. Well, the beer is looking good. Not very nice, cheap breaking though. Right, so now increase the feed rate a little bit and the depth of cut as well. And reduce the RPM. Let's give it a try. Why does the chip not break? Take a look at these ones. I don't like them. So does this mean that I need to to increase the feed rate even more? Chips ain't breaking. They're very blue, however. So what do I need to do? It.
this is looking very good. I wonder what the micrometer will say. Right, so I now test mounted the cutter and it seemed to be a good fit. I do not have um, a captive holder for parting off yet, so I used a slitting saw to to uh, cut the shank off, make it a bit shorter. And here we got a piece of aluminium, and I wasn't really sure what to to make. Really, I just wanted to make some some test cuts, but obviously. It's pretty expensive with uh, aluminium, so I thought that I can make some kind of feature plate of this one. So I'm just about to dive it in. Right, so this video didn't really end as I wanted to. I wanted to cut this one out and be done with it, but apparently Cutter is now broken and it is due to if you listen to this sound I try to jog the Y axis this axis had issues with but uh, I replaced it with a stainless one that I made by myself and that one 
seem to work excellent so I think I need to make make a stainless one for Y axis because this ain't good at all insert is, is ruined these two were 15 to 20 bucks so that's a lot of money anyways take care and see you and please subscribe if you haven't and comment whatever you feel like